Well, for me, my strong, strongest reflection uh, on the past year has been to personally witness various impacts of major disasters with my own eyes. I saw us uh, saving lives after the earthquake in Haiti and uh, during the flood in Pakistan. I also want to uh, reflect on the warmth with which I was uh, received and the great knowledge I gained during my visits for the past year to 15 countries and a meeting with uh, seven heads of state. Across all places I visited, I have felt welcomed, encouraged and inspired by their commitment to grow and work more closely together. Well, I've met uh, personally with uh, heads of state, representatives of international organizations, members of the diplomatic corps, and other opinion leaders around the world. In doing so, I've made a deliberate effort to change minds. In some countries, I specifically encouraged government uh, counterparts to improve the environment for humanitarian relief. In Saudi Arabia, as just one example, I had uh, the honor to meet uh, King Abdullah. The king uh, posed a question to me, what is the added value of the International Federation? This is indeed uh, the most relevant question for all of us to address. In this complex uh, environment surrounding, uh, surrounding our humanitarian work, we must position ourselves properly to make a difference. Only then uh, can we change the minds and the attitudes of others. I believe that uh, true humanitarians are deeply and personally committed to the work as they do. It's essential for Red Cross, Red Crescent leaders, staff and volunteers, all of us, to find out their passion and our personal commitment connection to our mission. I know this is uh, true for Bekele, his leadership team, and for so many uh, what are among our membership and uh, what are on our team uh, around the world. For me, for example, I was recently in Hiroshima with uh, Nobel Peace laureates and the global leaders reflecting on the impact of nuclear weapons. Coming as I do from Japan, this issue touches me deeply and the legacy of the volunteers and the medics who met the unimaginable needs following this tragedy in 1945 has provided me with inspiration every day throughout my career and the humanitarian service. Well, it is of vital importance uh, that the Federation uh, be seen uh, to lead the humanitarian sector in disaster response and recovery. We need to continue demonstrating our commitment to those in need of assistance in Haiti, Pakistan, and as new emergencies occur. In 2011, we have an opportunity to celebrate uh, volunteerism and uh, profile our volunteers in an unprecedented way as the International Federation's volunteer in chief. I am keen to provide strong support for our global campaign and to support efforts to protect, promote and recognize our volunteers. They are the lifeblood of our mission. And through continued humanitarian diplomacy, I will continue to work to make the most of our promoting uh, upcoming statutory meetings, the General Assembly, Council of Delegates and the International Conference and the opportunity they afford us to engage with states in the interest of our vulnerable people. So collectively, we need to seize this opportunity to open or continue our high-level dialogues. Well, for me, it's uh, about the people I meet, the volunteers and the people they touch through their work. I think uh, if each of us can stay connected to what we do and uh, who and how we serve, saving lives, changing minds, 
the sky is the limit.